presentation contains copyrighted material under the Vote Loftus and Pickerel U.S. Copyright Law. This for is for Sir Hints and Lobdell, the formation of the, the formation of false memories. Okay, why? Aim one: to see if true witnesses will recall false statements as true from pseudo witnesses. The pseudo witnesses give a false statement about the mugger's appearance. Aim one is to see if the true witnesses will recognize that statement as being true. Aim two, to see if true witnesses will recall something not given by the pseudo witnesses. This sample is an opportunity to sample with random witnesses of the stage crime. Basically it's just people who are in the location that was chosen at the time of the experiment. Um, there's five stooges. One of them is the mugger who wore black pants, a jacket, he was cleanly shaved, and he did not have a satchel, and this was the same at every single location. There was one victim, and she was a 20-year-old woman. There are three pseudo-witnesses, uh, their normal appearance according to the region. It was the same false statements in every location, so the pseudo-witnesses would say the same false things about the mugger in each <laughs> region. <laughs> Where? <laughs> there you go, hit the eggs. Where? This is a field experiment and it was done in different parks in the following regions. In the East Coast, West Coast, Southwest, Midwest, and Northeast. That way you get a generalizable variety of places. How? Procedure and data. Staged mugging of the woman in the park and by people who witnessed it are gathered by two experimenters posing as investigators who asked them for what the mugger looked like. Basically, the experimenters just dress up as investigators, and they question the witnesses to ask what the mugger looked like and what he was wearing. Three, stooges pose as witnesses and make three false statements about uh, the mugger. They basically just infiltrate and try to say things uh, like he was wearing a gray coat, he had facial hair, he wore a satchel, which were three false statements about the mugger, to try to get the other witnesses to believe what they had said. If the witnesses recalled the false statements about the mugger, or came up with other false memories of the mugger's appearance, and all of this would be qualitative data. All right, so how long the study took? Snapchat! <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it was a snapshot study. Aww. So <laughs> the participants will be involved for about three hours of interviews by the experimenters, and the experiment will take place in the middle of the day when the area is the most populated. One practical issue pertains to the stooges, which would be finding the correct amount of stooges needed for the experiment and being able to move them around as the experiment moves from coast to coast. Another issue with the stooges would be that every single time the experiment is performed, the stooges must say the same exact script and lines to keep all controls in place. One practical strength in this study would be the high ecological validity due to it being conducted in a field. Since this study is taking place in a park, it is a more natural environment, which will cause the participants to act with more natural behavior. Ethical issues, deception. Um, the participants are unaware that they're in an experiment because the whole point is implanting false memories. Um, also, the experimenters themselves are dressing up as cops to get the information out of the witnesses and the pseudo-witnesses. They weren't debriefed. So they don't know what was going on, and it might be on their mind. They might be like, oh, I didn't stay in help, and that may cause them some psychological harm later on. One strength in ethics about this study is that there's high confidentiality. Nobody's going to know about the participants, who they are, and they had a clear right to withdraw. They could have just walked away from the study.